Then on an individual level, you can think of little known facts uh, like uh, the fact that Hiram Thomas, a Saratoga chef, created a potato chip. Augustus Jackson, a Philadelphia confectioner, who was known as the man who invented ice cream. George Grant, the golf tee. Lewis Howard Latimer, the incandescent light bulb, the first invented and patented, the first incan uh, incandescent light bulb with a carbon filament. Charles Drew, the separation and preservation of blood plasma. Many, many of these things which I had generally known. Uh, the millions of uh, white Americans and the millions of black Americans who suffer from arthritis or who suffer from glaucoma should thank God that black people came this way. They should thank God specifically for Percy Julian, whose work in, in, in synthesizing a drug made it possible for drugs to be delivered at a, at a reasonable price to all these people who suffer from arthritis. George Washington Carver, we could go on and on. These facts generally do not appear in American textbooks. And because they don't appear in American textbooks, Americans, generally speaking, are tremendously ignorant of who they are and of what has happened to them in this country. America's only black air force in the special four-part series, The Black Eagles. Three months after America entered World War II, the first black airmen commissioned as combat pilots by the Army Air Force received their wings in March of 1942. But the experiment still had one unanswered question. Even though blacks had proved their ability to fly, could they participate successfully in combat operations? The first wave of black cadet graduates formed the 99th Pursuit Squadron, but their early combat performance in the Mediterranean theater brought strong and severe criticism from the top Air Force command. At the same time, a national controversy erupted that threatened the future of the Tuskegee Airmen and of blacks in the military. It was suggested that the all-black 99th be removed from combat and future plans for black pilots in combat be suspended. Booker T. Washington, 1856-1915. His statue here at Tuskegee University says, he lifted the veil of ignorance from his people and pointed the way to progress through education and industry. Booker T. Washington, educator, statesman, Hampton University's most famous graduate and founder of Tuskegee University. In many ways, he embodies the spirit of all of black higher education. Washington's political views were as controversial as his approach to education but his achievements made him the most powerful black American who ever lived. And today, the seeds of his unshakable belief in character and self-help have blossomed into one of the major forces in higher education. However, by enduring countless hardships along the way with little money, Booker Talaferro Washington proved that he had the necessary will to succeed. 